the top. What happened to mine? <laughs> Where did yeah. Bob Ross is gonna make me cry. Hey guys, I'm Veronica. I'm Vanessa. And today we are following a Bob Ross tutorial, but with only just the sound. Yeah, so we're going to be painting a picture today. We have not seen what we're going to be doing. We have no idea. We're just going to follow this tutorial with the sound only. Mm -hmm. And we're not artists. We are not. We got all of our paints. We got some brushes. We got these thingies. These things that look like fishies. Yeah, so um, we're gonna just, I guess, get, get into it. it. What is, so what? So, okay, because we need to know at least what we are painting, so we have somewhat of an idea. What is it, what is this painting called? Tropical Seascape. All right, so uh, we don't know what colors we're gonna need and stuff, so I guess we'll just do it as we go. Yeah. Right, okay, so let's take a listen. Welcome back. Certainly glad to see you today. You ready to do a fantastic little painting with me? Yes. Okay. Tell you what, let's have them run all the colors across the screen that you need to paint along with me. While they're doing that, let me tell you what I've already done up here. I have my good old 18 by 24 inch canvas here. The top of it, I've covered with a thin even coat of liquid white. Then we have a piece of masking tape right across here. Thought today we'd do a little tropical seascape. I have okay. had so many cards and letters asking for just a bright, shiny little seascape. Bright, Thought I'd show shiny. you a very easy and effective All way right. of doing one. So let's go up here and get started. Okay. Today I'll start with the old two inch brush. Two inch. Go right into a small, small amount, very small amount this one. of the Indian yellow. Just this tap one. a little into the bristles. Wait, yellow? Pause it, pause it. I don't so know need yellow. Happened. This is washable kids paint. It's fine. You're using the, what, what are you doing? I don't know. So let's go up here and get started. Today I'll start with the old two inch brush. Go right into a small, small amount, very small amount small. of the Indian yellow. Just tap a little into the bristles. Where? Come right up here, and we'll just do something. Where? Oh, like that. He said up. And just let it go right on out. Up. With up. So up here. I don't know. I don't know what that means. Up here. You're doing the whole entire thing? <laughs> I'm guessing. What if this is supposed to be the sand? I'm guessing we're starting with the sky. Oh man. Okay, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm just gonna paint the whole thing, the whole top yellow, right? And if it turns out to be like If we need blue. Sand, if this turns out to be sand, I'll flip it over. Help! Help! <laughs> All right, I've got. Shall we continue? Let's continue. continue. You're gonna be cleaning the brush. I'm going to add a small amount of cat yellow and just rub it on out. What? I don't have to clean the brush. Of what? Elf? I feel like this is the same. Well, he said up. And where do we add it? I don't have to clean the brush at all. And once again, without cleaning the brush, I'm going to add yellow ochre. And we'll so we're adding yellow. That is a completely different yellow. That looks orange. I hate art. No offense. <laughs> I just, I'm not good at it. And we'll take it all the way up to the top. See, top. Oh, to the yeah, top. Like so. Oh. There we go. Now then, still, without cleaning the brush, I'm gonna add just a touch, touch of the bright red. Bright red! Oh, ho, oh, ho! Oh. 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 All this, oh, this might be the sunset then. Oh, we're making a sunset. I might need to make my yellow a lot bigger. I, okay, I feel like we're off to, oh, then, okay. Cleaning Wait, the brush. Wait, where would we put the red? Right, red, please. So Looks it, like mustard okay. and ketchup. I'm gonna add just a touch, touch of the bright red. It's come right along the top, making little crisscrossy strokes. All at the, way the top? The top here. Okay. All the way at crisscrossy All strokes. All the way at the top. I don't know what that means. Crisscrossy strokes. Like a X? Criss 
Cross, crisscross, cross, 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 cross means, right? Isn't the red supposed to be more right here? He said at the top. At the top. Fine, Bob Ross. Yours looks so much better than mine. Ronnie, what? I don't know. It's very likely to blend that into the ochre. To the what? To the ogre? That's in here and there, maybe you can tap in a little bit to make a little streak in the sky. Where you want? Oh, a streak. Maybe, 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 yeah. Right here, put it on the wherever. Yes, right here. We'll, here. we'll put the streak here. We'll put the streak here. What? I don't know. He says streaks. Oh, I made a line. What? Yeah. There, wasn't that a bright, shiny little, little, little sky? Easy to do. Easy to do. You clean the brush. Oh, clean the brush. Scrub it off. All right, Bob, what's next? Scrub it off. Shake it. <laughs> and just beat the devil out of it. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> what happened to mine? <laughs> what? Oh, okay, what now? Now then, let's have some fun. Fun? Yeah, let's have some fun. Okay. I'll take a lizard crimson. Load it right. Crimson? Wait, what? A and where is this going to go? And we'll get a little bit of phthalo blue. Just mix it right on the brush. A little blue? What kind of blue? Blue and red do make purple. Okay, then what? Let's go right up here. Mix Underneath the blue here. and red? <laughs> going, to add a, going to add a little bit of that lavender color. Oh, okay, lavender. Lavender. Oh, Just a little touch. We like lavender. Where? With just a little touch of lavender. Where? Up here? Yeah, probably. <laughs> that is not lavender. That is brown. Mine is brown. A little touch. And this lavender, you can mix with yellow without it. Without oh, it shit. Turning green. Why don't we just use lavender? <laughs> okay, he said you can mix the lavender with the yellow. I'm using lavender. Give me this lavender. Freaking you Bob mix Ross. with the yellow? Maybe it was No! Oh. Underneath here. I'm going to add a little bit of that lavender color. He said underneath. Right there. Just a little touch. Underneath? The underneath the yellow? Just a little touch. I think I need more yellow. Ronnie! He said underneath. <laughs> Mix it with the yellow. Yes, this looks tropical. Looks like there's fire in the sky and that's pretty much it. All right, all right, I give up. Okay, let's keep going. Yours looks so much better. Now then, without cleaning the brush again, I'm gonna add more of the phthalo blue. Just a small amount, doesn't take much. Doesn't take too much. It will come right down, right down to the horizon here. <gasps> it we take the blue and we take it to the horizon I need more blue I hate myself why <laughs> I feel like this really captures our personalities <laughs> would you agree okay. very lightly very lightly just blend the entire sky up. Oh, blend the entire sky up? With the blue? No way. I'm not adding blue to that. Ah, my red paint. I'm gonna cry. Bob Ross is gonna make me cry. Can I do finger the painting? the rest of the sky. I'm giving up. Okay, next, let's move on. Let's use the knife today. Okay. A knife? I'm gonna take some titanium white and pull it out as flat as I can get it. Just really get strong, pull it out very flat. White? What Ew. is wrong with this paint? It looks like cottage cheese or something. Ew, it does. Here, I'm not using that. What? I accidentally didn't use the knife. I didn't use a knife either. Go straight down, there you go, and cut across so you have that little roll of paint. Okay, let's go up here. Let's make some little clouds that just, just hang around here and have fun. With oh. the knife? I don't know. The knife? He said cloud. Put 
pushing very hard, very hard, very hard. Just, he's using the knife. Just lay in some basic little cloud chips. <gasps> he's using the knife. I get it. I know what he's doing. He's doing this. That's what he's doing. I get it. He's pressing very hard. Ah! I just got it everywhere. Is that right? Yes, this is right. I can feel it in my bones. I don't want these to be bright clouds, just little floaters. Oh, little floaters, you want to be clouds. Little fun clouds. And in your painting, you put them wherever you want. It's all, we're fine. Just, See, put them wherever you want. Knows. There's one that floats right around here and has fun all day. Yeah, we want one right here. He's been floating around all day. He goes right on off the edge of the canvas. Just wherever. And it's time for your bravery test. But come right up here and very lightly, very lightly, two hairs and some air. Just blend those little clouds. Barely touching them. Oh. Barely touching them. Just blending the clouds? Oh gosh. Very Bob is ruining my painting! <laughs> I don't know what he means by blend. Yes. <laughs> clouds. My clouds look great. I think my clouds disappeared. <laughs> my clouds did not disappear. <laughs> You've got clouds in your sunset. He said in the blue. He did? I believe so. He said down here. I don't know. You're touching me. You take the brush. Another way of making clouds for this type. Just tap a little white into it oh. and go up here and, and just literally just tap it right onto the canvas like so. Just tap, 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 tap. Tapping. Then, I'm tapping. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right. And maybe right around here is another one. Just all you have to do is just sort of tap them on and very lightly. I'm done. Very I'm lightly. Okay. Just blend them. And that's a super easy way of making some cute little clouds. Okay. Oh, I think he cleaned One more it. Time. Now then, let's take the tape off. And you'll see you have a perfectly straight horizon. Oh! <coughs> oh! <coughs> oh no! He said to put tape. tape. And you have a perfectly straight horizon. I gotta I gotta make a straight horizon real quick. Oh man! What the heck, Bob Ross? Come on, Bob. Why you gotta do that? Straight horizon. I just got blue on the right part. Okay, well, at this point, it's whatever. Whatever happens, happens. I'm ready. Let's take some little blue and a lizard crimson. Mix it together. What colors? Again, we're making more lavender. Just use lavender! I like this color. Oh, I like this purple, whatever I'm using. You're doing good. What? How did you get that kind of... Okay, fine. Now, one of the things when you're doing a seascape, if you'll sort of figure out basically where you want the major wave to be in here, it'll save you a lot of problems. Oh. So let's say our major wave, it's gonna live right there. <gasps> and just sort of take the filbert brush and just sketch out a basic shape of where you want that rascal to live. A wave? Like so. I don't know, he said just go, when, 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 it sounded like he just went like, not like a, like a wave wave? Like a wave that, like a water wave? I don't know. Okay, keep it playing. Like so. And it's gonna curl over like that. A curl over? Yeah. Curl. Let's just use the old two inch brush. Shoot, that's. I'm gonna tap a little of this dark lavender color in here. Oh. Let's go right up here. And let's just begin putting in some color. Oh. Like no. so. Like so. Just let it come right along that horizon. Okay, along the horizon. There. He said, some of this lavender. Put it along the horizon. All right, there we go. He said along the horizon and we add color. What, keep going? And you come right down to this major wave. And it really doesn't matter if you get it up. It's just a guy. It's only a guy. And I think you'll find that it really helps you to put that in. Okay, coming down. Coming down to the major wave. Coming down. 
Okay. Coming down to the major wave. Now I'm going to add a little touch of phthalo blue to that same color. And I'll just, I'll just use the brush to sort of mix them together. So I'll put a little more blue into it. And with that, we'll go out to the edges here. Excellent. Want the edges to be a little bit, a little bit more of the blue tone. More blue, more blue. We want more blue to the edges. <laughs> the edge of the wave? I don't know what this means. There. Okay. And just fill this in. Just fill it and in. same thing over here on the other side. Just fill it in. Right up to that. Boy, that, that quick you have the whole back of the seascape done. Same old brush. What the heck? The seascape done? Oh, see, see. Okay. Ah, I don't even perfect. know if this is right. This is totally right. Same old brush. Still haven't cleaned it. I'm going to use some black. Let me touch it, they little blue. And let's go right up in here and do that. Just the color. I don't know what he's doing. With the liquid clear, you don't have that problem. That I just ruined mine. There we go. But I can't tell you enough to use just a small, small amount. It, it goes a long way. Oh, it does. One oh, container clear longer. should last you for years. Shoot, you got your seascape half painted already. It's that easy. Oh. All right. Take a little dark sienna. We'll just put it out here. A little dark sienna. I'm What's grab sienna? Dark sienna? Beach. He said brown and white. Oh, and a little yellow? Okay. And you just mixed it all together. <laughs> oh my gosh. Ooh, what a nice peach color. Okay, why does yours look like throw up? Yours looks like throw up too. Okay, I got my sand. Oh. Let's go right in here. Maybe there'd be a little beach that lives right here. Mm. Oh, a right beach there. that lives right here. Just let here. that blend right up into the, to the water color here. To the what color? Just let it blend together. All right, I gotta get all the sand in there like that. Why are you copying me? I didn't copy you. You put your sand right where I put my sand. I put my sand here first. Actually, I did. <laughs> hey! Yummy! Stop that! Don't oh. use mine. <laughs> All right, moving on. We have the entire canvas blocked in now. Oh! The entire canvas. Oh, shoot. All right, so we need to fill all this in, so I'm just going to uh, do it with black. I don't know. I don't know what color he said to do, but I'm gonna just do it. Take a little bit of the titanium white, pull it out very flat, just as flat as you can get it, and take the knife and cut across. And get that little roll of paint. Always loading the knife for that little roll of paint. And let's begin making some little waves that are far, far back. I get it. Distance. I get it too. I get it. I get it. I'm making like, you know, like when like you like are on the beach and like the waves kind of come up. So use a firm pressure. Firm. Push. Just push. We'll take out all your all your frustrations this way. Ah! Oh! Take out the frustrations. I'll use a little touch. We'll just use that same color that we use to make sand to that on. Oh. And let's just go up here and just very gently, just let it graze those high points. Just let it graze. Graze Don't want a great them? deal of paint. Graze. Graze. Caress it. Just caress it. Caress it. Now then, with this, we can really sparkle. Decide where the light's striking the water. Oh, ooh. That, that's where you put your bright spots. Barely touching. Bright spots. Bright spots. There. I'll take a little titanium white on my fan brush. Fan brush. And let's put a another wave. Chum, he lives right here. Wait, what did he say? Just blend it back. Oh, and it makes the trough in between the waves. What is a trough? What? What is a what? What is a trough? 
Let's do the eye of the wave. That's always what everybody wants. And all we're doing is just scrubbing it in. Put the shadow in, put the shadow in. What? And it just come around. This is where you begin shaping your wave. We, have we not been shaping a wave this whole time? Let the shadow just... We need a happy little palm tree in there. Shoot, the easy way of making an indication of a palm tree. We'll just use a little crayon on the fan brush. A palm tree? This palm tree maybe lives right here. It goes right off the canvas. We don't know exactly where it goes. Oh, it goes off the canvas? Let's give him a frame. We don't want him to get lonely. Ooh, right through the crasher. Hmm. Fan brush. Let's make some big leaves out there. Look at that. See there? And maybe one right here. Okay. Just however many. And a little one. Hope you've enjoyed this little tropical sunset type scene. And I look forward to painting with you again. Until then, happy painting and God bless. We're done? Yeah. I guess okay, I'm done. I mean, I guess I'm done too. Yours is so good. No, it is not. Look at mine. <gasps> Oh, Ronnie. Sign them. Oh, we gotta sign them. It says to sign it. So I'm gonna, or Ronnie. I forgot an N. I spelled my name wrong. <gasps> what? No way. That's what he was doing with the yellow. <laughs> Yours is pretty close. It's, it's, it. Kind of. <laughs> it is. It's not too bad. It's not bad. What do you guys think? Do you think mine was? Huh. Ronnie, yours is just not good at all. All right, so that was our attempt of following a Bob Ross tutorial with only sound. Yep. <laughs> I'm so upset. Who do you guys think did better? Obviously you. I am so bad at painting. Oh gosh. Ah! Anyways, give this video a thumbs up for our attempt. Oh, if you guys want us to follow another Bob Ross tutorial. No! <laughs> no! <laughs> Why would we do that? <laughs> okay, or not. Well, let us know what other videos you would like us to do in the comments below. And Thanks for watching and Thanks we'll see you guys watching. next time. Bye. Bye.